Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. I am so excited to share this tiny house project with you. Now, you may be thinking, girl, you are way older than 19. And that is completely true. I am 22 now. I started building this house three years ago. Let me tell you, Building something with your own hands takes time. Starting with no experience and learning as you go takes even more time. So why am I starting this video with a clip of me struggling to put up a hallway ceiling by myself? I am trying to be the most authentic and honest version of myself that I can be and show you that building my own house is not glamorous. It is challenging, it is humbling, and it is a long time labor of love. I have wanted to share my journey on YouTube ever since the beginning, but I honestly didn't have the courage back then to share something that's still a work in progress and full of imperfections. I've been trying to shift my mindset to see mistakes as signs of growth. So I'm just gonna put it out there I've hammered my fingers more times than I can count. And yes, all of my walls are a little bit crooked. Taking on a new challenge in your life can be really intimidating, especially if it is somewhat uncommon. As a young female builder, I have felt that self-doubt. Okay. Okay. I want to tell you that it may be difficult, but if you want to learn something, you can learn it. If you want to build something, go out there, you can do it. Believing in yourself takes practice. It takes time. There will be setbacks, but feeling strong, feeling capable and proud of yourself, that's worth it. Every time, that's worth it. So just keep going. All right, let's go back to the beginning when the tiny house was just an idea. I was home with my parents during the pandemic and taking my college classes online. My mom and I kind of became obsessed with videos of cute, sustainable tiny homes on wheels. And I remember asking her, do you think I could actually build one of these myself? And my amazing mom said, of course, you should go for it. So next thing I know, I'm putting all my internship money towards buying a trailer. I wanted to be as eco and budget friendly as possible. So I found a lot of materials, including all my windows and the door secondhand. Special thanks to my parents for driving all around the region with me in our old truck to pick up materials. And also for letting me build this house in their driveway. I am so grateful for my family and friends for lending me their tools and just helping me out along the way. Sometimes I think our society fixates on individualism, 
But I think it's just as important to celebrate the joy of giving and receiving help from others. In my opinion, the most difficult part of building your own home is making decisions all the time. Should I do wood studs or steel? Which kind of siding? What type of insulation? Which colors to pick? There are so many options to choose from. I think the best strategy for any big challenge is to break it up into little pieces. For example, I'm not gonna worry about how to build kitchen cabinets if I'm still working on the exterior walls. Hey, we just plugged in a light. Mom, it's, it's not working though. Yeah, exactly. Is that enough power for it? Maybe not. You might need a bigger battery. <laughs> Mom, it's not working. So. Try not to get overwhelmed by all the things you don't know. And just try to trust that when it comes time, you'll be able to figure something out. This is beautiful. Hey, Cha Cha. And the stairs were super low. Come on, Cha Cha, let's see if she can go down the stairs. Come on, Cha Cha. Come on. Go, babe, go. Do it, do it. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And this video is just the beginning. I'm going to continue documenting and sharing my tiny house build so you can join me along the way. I hope you have a beautiful day.